Snow White and the Very Angry Dwarf. <laughs> Written by Steve Smallman, illustrated by Neil Price. Once upon a time, there was a young girl called Snow White. She was lovely, but the wicked queen was jealous and wanted to get rid of her. The queen's magic mirror told her that Snow White was prettier than she was, and she wasn't having that. Mm. Snow White ran away. She came across a little cottage. Nobody was home, but the door was unlocked, so she crept inside. There were seven little chairs around a low table in the kitchen and seven little beds in the bedroom upstairs. Oh my goodness, cried Snow White. Seven darling little children must live here with no one to look after them. The cottage was a mess, so Snow White set to work tidying sweeping, polishing, and singing so sweetly that all the animals in the forest came to listen. There, she sighs, clean as a whistle. Soon after, Snow White heard footsteps outside. The children are back. Come in. Come on in, my darling, she cried, flinging open the door, only to be greeted by six bearded little men. Oh, who are you? asked Snow White. I'm shouty, I'm hairy, I'm hungry, I'm whiffy, I'm sniffy, and I'm jolly, replied the dwarves. But who are you, they all asked. So, hungry, hairy, shouty, whiffy, sniffy, and jolly. <laughs> I'm Snow White. I was lost and I found your dear little cottage, and I'm really sorry, but I went in and I've tidied up and made some food, shouted the dwarves, and rushed past her to attack the stew. Snow White told them her sad story while they ate. The dwarves had almost finished eating when another dwarf stormed in looking very cross. His name was Angry. Who is this? he shouted rudely. This is Snow White, said Hungry. She's come to stay, and she's made us some delicious food. I'm sorry, Angry, but there's no stew left, said Snow White. How about some cake instead? What kind of cake? asked Angry. Cherry cake, replied Snow White. But I hate cherries, shouted Angry. Then he kicked over his chair and stormed out of the cottage, slamming the door behind him. <laughs> oh my goodness, cried Snow White. Is he always like that? Yes, replied the dwarves all together. He always shouts at me because I'm too noisy, shouted, shouted, shouty. He gets angry with me if he smells anything nasty. And it's not always me, said Whiffy. He shouts, sniff, at me whenever I sniff. It's not my fault, sniff. Nose is running my family, sniffed Sniffy. <laughs> he gets cross with me when my tummy rumbles too loudly, mumbled hungry. He goes nuts because just because I sometimes leave hair in the bathtub, replied Harry. And he gets upset with me because I'm too cheerful. It makes him laugh. And then he gets even madder, chuckled Jolly. Snow White found Angry outside, bashing a tree trunk with a stick. What a good idea! to go off on your own when you're angry, said Snow White, but instead of bashing a tree, why not collect some firewood? I'd have a lot of wood, grumbled ha Angry. The other dwarfs make me so mad. When they do, said Snow White, take a deep breath, count to ten, go for a walk, collect some firewood, and when you've calmed down, tell them how you feel. They won't listen, said Angry. They will if they want some cake, said Snow White. Back at the cottage, Angry explained to the other dwarves why they made him so mad. You're always sniffing, Sniffy. Couldn't you try using a tissue? Okay, Sniff. I'll try, Sniff, sniffed Sniffy. Snow White helped everybody to say what they thought, and nobody shouted. Not even shouty. Angry was so said sorry to everyone, and they all said sorry back. Then they all had a group hug, which Whiffy spoiled just a bit. <laughs> um, 
Angry was about to get mad when he remembered what Snow White had told him. He didn't dare take a deep breath, so he went outside, counted to ten, and walked off to collect some firewood. Angry soon felt calmer, but he had collected so much wood that he couldn't see where he was going. And... Crash! He bumped into an old lady who, who tumbled to the ground, dropping the shiny red apple she was carrying. The apple smashed to pieces, leaving a nasty black stain on the grass. You clumsy fool, screeched the old lady, whose wig had fallen off. It took me forever to make that poisonous apple for Snow White, and now it's ruined. It was the wicked queen in disguise. We don't have any apples, but you could have a piece of cherry cake if you like, if you like suggested Angry. I hate cherries, roared the queen. I think you should take a deep breath, count to ten, go for a walk, collect some wood, and when you've calmed down, tell me how you feel, Angry calmly replied. The wicked queen didn't appreciate Angry's advice, so she stomped off in a huff. <laughs> Snow White and the other dwarves came out to see what all the shouting was about. Oh, angry, thank you, cried Snow White. You got rid of that nasty, wicked queen, and you didn't even lose your temper. Then she gave him a big piece of cherry cake with all the cherries picked out. Snow White and the seven dwarves went back to the cottage where they lived happily, fairly happily ever after. And they never ran out of firewood again. <laughs> Oh, dear. <laughs> the end.